Hello everybody, how are you? It's Anne here from Domesplicity. Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, I haven't washed my hair um, since I've been back from the swimming pool today. I took my kids uh, swimming at um, one of the public swimming pools today and it was really nice and really refreshing to get out and in the sunshine and um, enjoying the summer we've just had the best weather so far I can't believe it um, it's been um, it's usually really really humid at this time of the year here in Brisbane but we've been um, just having really warm sunny days without the humidity which has been really really lovely and it makes you feel like being in the great outdoors and enjoying um, the summer so that's what we did today. Hi Nikki, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, so you might have seen from my post in the group that this year, um, as part of my campaign to organise you, is every fortnight, uh, there's 26 fortnights in a year, and there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So I'm going to be um, picking a, a letter from the alphabet which focuses on teaching you how to organize your home life so that you can live your best life and um, start enjoying life more and uh, not worrying about the, the house and the, and the housework and chores and things like that and start doing more of the things that you really like doing. And I've done it fortnightly because I think it's um, a bit better than a month long um, campaign or subject because we can really um, nut it out and uh, focus on those th those topics really quickly and cover a lot more in a year so that we can um, get get um, to the nitty-gritty and get your lives more organized so um, hi Sandra how are you tonight um, thanks for joining so I want to get uh, I want to dive straight in um, a is for all so it's all about having it all and having the life of your dreams and um, I'm going to give you four quick tips tonight to live your best life and ultimately how to have it all. So I'll be focusing um, on this topic in the group over the next two weeks uh, before I um, introduce the letter B. So what does having it all look for you uh, look like for you? Does it mean uh, if you only won the lotto, then you'd be able to afford your dream home? Um, you'd be able to uh, buy, buy that dream home, hire a maid, uh, a personal chef. Um, is that really what having it all means? Have you ever actually sat down and thought what it is, what that means to you? You know, what would really make your life so much better? Um, if you don't win the lotto, what happens then? You know, are you just going to keep living your life as you did last year, the year before, uh, surrounded in clutter, wishing you had more time to sew, um, wish that you could become more fit and eat healthier, um, you know, wish you had more time to, hi Mel, wish you had more time to spend with the kids or go on holidays, you know, without um, winning the lotto or increasing your um, income, you know, how is this all going to happen? So um, having it all means a lot of uh, a lot means different things to different people at different stages of your life. So it's going to be forever changing. Um, for example, in my twenties and thirties, when I look back, I think, oh, I had it had it all. I had a great job. I had a great apartment. I had a good career. I had lots of career options. My home life was. Um, really really good I could cook and clean and and loved living on my own I, I had um, you know everything in its place and it was always spotless and tidy but my love life was lacking and um, not so much lacking but I was always finding all the wrong men in all the wrong places so during my 20s and 30s I always had relationship problems and I think that was due to a lack of um, self-esteem and thinking I wasn't good enough for the ideal man you know like I thought 
well this guy's shown me some interest you know he'll do and that's kind of like um sad to say how I met my ex-husband and you know I was at a pretty low point in my life I think and 36 years of age and thought well you know my time's running out to have children and you know he seemed nice enough but really at the end of the day he wasn't um the right one but I did go on to have two beautiful children so it worked out in the end but it was a valuable lesson for me to to learn um you know exactly what I wanted what meant what it meant to me having it all as far as the relationship goes and um even when the children were babies you know um I thought having a baby would make make our, our marriage stronger and um make our relationship stronger well it made it even worse and it made it, at the time I'll be honest and I'll say it made my life worse because I had this vision in my head that you know I was so organized all my life I was you know just could cook and clean and and organize and be clutter free and then a little baby was going to come into my life and just make my life complete well it was the complete opposite it was just you know this this little thing just demanded my attention 24 7 and my little girl she had colic and she'd be screaming from 4 p.m to 7 p.m every night for about nine months and it wasn't having it all a little baby really changed my life and it wasn't until they got older that I actually can look back at those days fondly and think how lovely it was but at the time it was really really hard so um, another example was when in back in 2012 when my uh, marriage did end and my mother passed away I really did think I thought that was the end of my life you know without you I didn't sort of ever picture what it was going to be like or imagine what it was going to be like without your mother your mother was always there and and even though I had my children and, and my pets that's really what kept me going you know I thought well this is it you know if I didn't have this there wouldn't be anything else to live for but then something kind of switched for me um, I did see a psychologist for a good 12 18 months and by the end of um, 2013 so nearly a good two years of psychotherapy she focused on me she focused on uh, what it is that I like to do and, and what I what I love and and what I value and, and what's good about me and and I went on this journey of self-discovery and and found out you know that I really am worthy of a better life and and I can make that happen myself so um, I kind of went on a, a journey of um, fitness and good health and my life really turned around you know after a good 20 years of you know meeting all these the wrong men and you know just going through the motions with the kids and even though I really enjoyed being a mother and, and everything but it was at that point that you know things started to fall into place for me where I realized you know I, I do have it all I, I I have this wonderful life I have a roof over my head I have food on the table even though some weeks when um, I was on my own there for a while I only had twenty dollars to buy um, food for the week but it didn't matter because I was so used to being able to uh, cook and make do with um, food and and make the stretch the food and that sort of thing so um, it kind of really set me on this really positive journey um, into life and and just be really thankful for uh, small things and then back and then come 2014 because I wasn't interested in looking for a man or anything I must have been um, emitting you know like this positive vibe and there was Damien my husband just we met online and we just clicked and he's just been the most wonderful man so um, I kind of think you know I do have it all uh, I always we always have more than enough money we always you know the cooking and the cleaning there they're just little things we have so much to look forward to in our lives we enjoy the present um, you know I can look past the um, floor if it hasn't been cleaned for a while or I can um, think you know I'm a little bit tired tonight do I go and spend $50 on takeaway if you know $50 of our hard-earned money 
or do I just have toasted sandwiches and fruit for dinner? There's no harm in that. Um, or, you know, if I haven't done the washing on the day that I was supposed to, is there any harm in that either? You know, those are just little things. But focusing on what um, makes us happy personally and uh, what creates a positive energy within ourselves, it, the rest of your life will just follow. So um, that's, that's what I found um, over the last couple of years that's really made my life feel like that I am having it all. So uh, one of the first tips that I want to um, talk to you about on how you can have it all in your life. Um, I first heard this um, little acronym oh, years ago and I don't, don't even remember where and I thought, gosh, that sums me up. I've, and I don't know why I've been like this. I don't know whether I can probably relate it a little bit back to my mum and um, my grandmother, but they never followed trends. You know, they were never one to jump on the bandwagon and the acronym that I'm referring to is JOMO. So if you've heard of FOMO, the fear of missing out, you always think that you're missing out on something. You know, you might see it on social media. Someone's got this brand new thing that they bought from Kmart. So you think, oh my God, I've got to go and get it. You know, there's been so many things in from Kmart that have been on sale lately. Um, they've sold out of um, pie makers, you know, for goodness sake or whatever, because it gets on social media and then everyone thinks, oh my God, that's going to change my life. I've got to go and have it. Well, I've just naturally been living this, living this life um, of JOMO where it's the joy of missing out. And I feel this real joy um, um, in my life where I don't have to go and get those things. Like I've got a pie maker I had had for about um, 20 years. Hi, Sandra. Hi from Queensland. Um, nice to see you here tonight. Um, and there is a real joy from from missing out on things, from not following what other people do. Because once you've decided what it is that you really like and what, what you need in your life and what makes you truly happy, you don't need that pie maker from Kmart. You don't need to have um, what she's having. You know, you don't need to go and... I remember when the Fifty Shades of Grey books came out. I never read any of those books. Everyone was like going crazy, going, oh my God, if, have you finished your copy? You know, I've got to read it. And it was just like there was just one thing that extra that I didn't need in my life like I like to read books but I just don't get jump on trends I just do my own thing and I think that's been a really good thing to have in my life is um, a real true joy of uh, living a more simple life and just finding real joy from within so um, you can do that by um, you know in your home you can get rid of things that you don't use anymore are no longer serving your purpose that are only just weighing you down and you can you know you'll have um, more positive energy in your house and it you know you won't even have to worry about it. you don't you'll, you'll also save lots of money too you know you won't be buying all these things all the time uh, my second uh, tip for having it all is to create these easy and simple routines and I've dropped the link in the group before for my roadmap um, what do I call it, the roadmap um, to routine. And just like you brush your hair in the morning, brush your teeth, it's just a habit. When you start to create these really strict cleaning schedules, well, this is what I believe anyway, you know, Mondays you wash the floors, Tuesdays you vacuum, Wednesdays, you know, you wash, Thursday you, um, you know, you do whatever. If something comes up, and that doesn't get done. It's kind of like, oh, my God, my whole world's um, crumbling down around me. How am I going to do that? If you can work out what your, say, three to five jobs are that really irritate you, you know, they're the ones that you think, oh, my God, look at that mess. You know, if only I could just do that and then I think my house would be clean and tidy enough, do that. And they shouldn't take you any longer than 15 to 30 minutes. And I'll drop the link to that roadmap um, to routine in this um, live broadcast as well. Um, I'll tell you what mine are. I make the bed, I clean the vanity unit, and I make sure the um, kitchen countertop is tidy. I may not do the dishes, it might only be a couple of dishes from breakfast, but if I've done that and you know the kitchen table's 
um, clean and the chairs are all pushed in. I just go about my day. I don't have to worry about it. That and Wednesdays and Saturdays are my, my laundry days and Saturday mornings are our two hour, sometimes only an hour clean. We get, um, get my two children to help now because they're 12 and 14 and they can help. So that's what I talked about earlier is that having it all changes as you know you come into different um, stages of your life. I wouldn't have been able to do this when the children were babies. It was kind of like clean as you go or, or clean when when you had a, a chance because I didn't get any help um, from anybody. My mum couldn't drive to come over. The only time I had a little bit of time out from the babies was um, if I went over to my mother's and she would entertain them or my sister or whatever. So um, it was pretty tough back then. But now, because I've found this, I practice mindfulness. I can, I take my time out regularly. I have my regular me days and my me times, even if it's um, 10 minutes. Hi, Rosina. How are you? How are you? Happy New Year to you too. Um, I practice mindfulness, which means just sitting down. I'm going to include a link um, from some other um, website, I think it's called mindful.org or something like that, on how you can practice mindfulness too. Just taking five, ten minutes out of your day to truly think about what really makes you happy. And I can sit fondly um, while I'm having a coffee or reading or um, just listening to some music. And I look back at those days with the kids. And even now, you know, my son, I'll be reminded of something really funny that my son said. And it just, creates even more love and more joy in my life from those little things you know I'm not thinking about oh my god my teenage daughter's driving me crazy you know with her mood swings and um, her, her messy room there just seems to be like I'm, I'm more peaceful and more calm because I've had this time I've focused on myself I once you focus on yourself and find out what truly makes you happy all these other things won't be so um, you won't be so hung up on them you know you won't be so hung up on if the floor hasn't been swept that day or you missed doing the laundry or whatever you know you won't be restricted by these complex schedules either you know you just do those that routine just make it like a habit whether it's you know you don't like shoes by the front door or you don't like things on your dining table or you don't like mail or piled up at that little spot at the front door you know have another spot for have a basket to put it in and then go back to it later whatever it is but as the year progresses I'm going to be focusing on those types of um, issues that we all um, have to deal with in our homes but I just wanted to start off the year and tonight with um, finding your all finding or having it all finding out what truly makes you happy um, and then everything else will follow Trust me, because it worked for me, and I'm sure it will work for you. Um, the third point that I wanted to talk about tonight was how easily influenced we are. And um, this goes back on a, um, a little bit on how I was talking about JOMO, um, the joy of missing out. Uh, we're um, so easily influenced by our external forces. And um, I can remember back to my mother's day and... You know, the only thing that they had to influence them was probably a bit of, you know, 60s or 70s TV ads or the occasional, um, you know, magazine that my mother would buy. But back in those days, magazines were full of really useful information like sewing patterns and crochet patterns and recipes and household hints and things. Not like now where it's just all ads and all these things that um, companies are trying to sell us. But um, I just wanted to read this. I don't know if you've heard of a, a gentleman called Bob Proctor. He um, he is a um, a mindfulness expert, I guess, or he's been involved in um, the law of attraction and manifesting the life that he wants. And he one of the quotes he said was, "99 percent of the population have been programmed to let the outside world." control their lives if you want to get what you want let the inside control the outside so instead of letting all those outside influences um, influence you 
You control what influences you from the inside. You find out what, what it is that truly makes you happy. And um, one thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, I don't know if anyone saw it. Uh, I don't even know where I saw it. There was um, a lot of people are doing it because you see it on the internet all the time. Everyone makes over their pantry or their linen closets with all these beautiful baskets and they're, you know, all labelled beautifully and, you know, everyone goes crazy to have this beautifully organised pantry with, with everything matching. So, of course, we're easily influenced by that without giving any thought to, you know, is that truly going to make our life better and easier, having this gorgeous pantry full of, you know, maybe $200 worth of baskets that you bought from Kmart, matching jars, and then you get the labels and everything like that. I don't know about anybody else. Like, I love grocery shopping. Once I've lugged those grocery bags up to the kitchen and put everything away, the last thing I want to be doing is decanting pasta into um, a container that's matched, that's matching. That's just me. I, I would rather spend my time elsewhere. I have my pantry set up to how I want it, how I need it. I can find all, all the food that I need. I put clips on bags. I um, use the tin that they're in. Um, you know, that's just one example. Um, you find out what truly makes you happy and what's going to make your life easy. You don't want to go and make your life more difficult. You know, set those things up to work for you, not work against you. And, and you know, soon you'll, you'll be just breezing through your kitchen. You'll be able to just grab things out of your pantry, cook a really easy dinner with three or four ingredients. And then you'll have the whole night to yourself to you know, paint your nails or watch your TV program or play a board game with your kids or go on a date night with your husband. You know, all these things are just going to enhance your life. Um, positive, a positive mindset and a positive attitude only attracts positive. So if you're really negative about the clutter in your home and the state of your home, you're only going to be attracting more negativity. If you start, like I've said again and again, start from within, find out what truly makes you happy, become more peaceful and positive, it's only going to create a more positive environment. You know, you probably, you're not even conscious of it that you're doing it. You know, like it, it sort of makes you, once you're more positive and happy with, with the person that you are, you come, you become more interested in your home you think you become more house proud you think well I'll just give the floor a quick sweep tonight or I'll just go and give those windows a clean you know I'm really proud of my house I'm proud of the way it is I don't need to buy any more knickknacks because that only means more dusting it just has a positive um, effect and flow on from that so that's that's um, what's been working for me um, Another thing I wanted to say about the internet, and, I, and please don't, don't um, go and unfollow me or anything, but um, use the internet to educate you instead of influence you. Like um, if, if you're following somebody and you go, wow, you know, look at those pretty images. You know, she's, she, her house is beautiful. You know, it's all white. It's fluffy rugs and matching cushions. And, you know, there's the fluffy dog sitting on the fluffy mat and, you know, they've got the cocktail and, you know, everything's just wonderful. If those, if you're thinking those people are going, you know, you think, oh, no, i got my life. I can barely find time to have a hot cup of coffee. Unfollow them. You don't need, that's only making you feel bad. Use the internet to educate you, you know. Find, you know, do searches on how to improve my life, how to um, make a positive change on my life, how to practice mindfulness, um, how to... Uh, find more time in my day. Uh, five, you know, Tim Ferriss is another one. I don't implement any of his time-saving techniques, but there's so many people on the internet that have developed um, life hacks and time-saving techniques to do different things. But I find what works for me is having that 15-minute routine in the morning and then I've got the whole day to myself. And then Saturday morning comes, that's when I do the washing the floors and cleaning the shower plus also clean as I go but I'll talk about that um, in another upcoming um, broadcast under C probably clean 
So um, that was number three. Don't be easily influenced by your um, external influences. Find out um, what makes you happy from the inside and let that control your life. And the fourth, the fourth uh, point, don't um, focus on what's around you. Focus on you and what you love. Um, it will naturally follow. And one example of this is if you were to tell me, okay, Anne, you've got to um, lose weight. You've got to go on a diet and you've got to exercise at least 30 minutes every day. Do you think I'm going to do it? No, because I haven't. Um, when my husband left, or when, I has, when I found my current husband now, I was actually training, um, I was studying to be a personal trainer. I was running, I was going to the gym every day, I was walking an hour every day. Nothing touched, nothing went past my lips that wasn't from the five food groups or wasn't um, healthy. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I've always loved doing sport all my life. Along come, comes my husband. I've found this um, a whole new um, lease on life and uh, a real love for another, another person and my children. And he likes to spoil me by buying me chocolates and eating chocolates in bed late at night. So I've put all that weight back on and now I've got that negative mindset thing happening again. But if I was to say, well, what sort of physical activity do you like doing? And I think, well, dancing, I love dancing. And I really do love walking. I love listening to music while I walk or listening to music while I dance. Now, if I focus more on that as being something that I really love to do, that's going to um, just boost my, my positive vibes, I'm going to do it more and the weight will just come off naturally. So for another example would be if you like to sew or craft, scrapbooking, um, anything like that, and you look at your craft stash and you go, oh my God, you know, how am I ever going to get started on this? I've, well, that's another thing that I'd like to do this year is go back to sewing um, more of my clothes. So I set about um, organising all my fabric and organising all my craft things. If you were to say, oh, you've got to go and organise all that craft stuff, you know, you probably think, oh, I can't be bothered. I don't really want to do that. But if you really love to sew and you really love to craft, well, you just naturally go and do that. You'll, you'll want to do that. Same as being house proud. Same as, you know, loving your home, truly loving the home that you live in. Be grateful for that uh, roof over your head uh, that protects you from the elements. You know, and it's a real feeling of gratitude and love. And I think that's what's um, that's really helped me over the years to um, to be really happy with my life and to think that I really do have it all. There's other things that I want to do. There's things like um, travel overseas and um, ultimately I want to be living by the beach and I've got um, systems in place that those things will happen one day. But, um, you know, just enjoying the simple things, you know, Taking that time out for yourself, you know, taking a day out for yourself. If you've got babies, you know, I can remember when my I had my babies and even though it was hectic, I was sewing all the time for them and crocheting things for them and um, doing that sort of thing. So, you know, I'm sure you can all find five or ten minutes a day just to practice that peace, peaceful mindfulness where you can work out what's truly going to make you happy. Forget your external influences and concentrate on what's inside you not what's around you and um, I want to why I'm telling you this is because you're denying yourself this better life you're denying yourself um, the opportunity to to live a better life you know if you're 30 years of age are you going to wait until your children are grown up and left home so you'll be 45 and then you'll start thinking about having trying to have a better life are you 50 or 60 and thinking well you know if only i do this this and this then i can start um losing weight or um doing that dance class learning ballroom dancing um learning a new craft getting back to my old crafts whatever it is that that makes you happy do it now because you only get one chance ladies and that that you know 
to see my mother pass away unexpectedly at 81. You know, she just had a pacemaker um, put in and was going to change her life. It obviously didn't. And she just died of a massive heart attack. And, you know, she was still planning more, um, more travel adventures and she was still quite fit. But, um, yeah, her heart ultimately failed her. So, you know, why wait another day? My darling goddesses, please take the time to really think about what it is you love, what it is that makes you who you are. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Practice mindfulness. Think about positive vibes and creating a positive environment in your home and the rest will happen. Um, buy a lotto ticket if you want to. <laughs> so that's um, what I wanted to talk about tonight in um, about having it all. You are in control of your destiny. You know what makes you happy and um, you can really make this happen because coming from the terrible marriage and the terrible predicament that I was in, I couldn't t begin to tell you how, how happy my life is. It's very simple. I don't ask for anything. I don't need any particular object to make me happy except maybe a cup of coffee in the morning. Which my darling husband makes for me so um couldn't get any better than that so thanks very much um for joining me tonight um i'm going to be popping in live every fortnight with a new letter and a new word and we're going to be focusing on that so over the next fortnight i'm going to be dropping more hints and more tips in the group about um, how to um, find out what it is that makes you tick and makes you create this um, better life for yourself and you too can have it all. So thank you very much ladies for joining me tonight and I shall see you in the group um, again very soon and I hope you have a good night. So it's bye for me. See you later. Bye.